Hi, today we're going to fix a broken fingerling. This is something we got for our grandkids a few months ago on Christmas. And as many of these little toys go and come and go, a lot of them will break over time. Well, we got two and the batteries were dead. We thought in both. And so we changed the batteries in one and it worked just fine. And then I changed the batteries in the second one and couldn't get it to go 100%. It was working a little intermittently and the eyes would blink and it would just barely move its head a little bit as you switch the on and off switch uh, on and off. But obviously something was going on. So I didn't know if it was a bad switch or whatever. So I sprayed the switch and did all that stuff. So when I took it apart, look at this guy close, but when I took him apart, he's got a speaker on there. There's a little ground wire over here and I'll try to get it close to it. See if you can see if there's a little ground wire over here that came disconnected. So what we're going to do today is simply just resolder that and see if that fixes the problem. So we'll take a break here for a second, get set up and just solder that and see what happens. Okay, I want to show this in a little bit more detail. I've got this under a magnifying glass and I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but here's that little ground wire I'm talking about. Okay, you can see that there. And it just came disconnected from the ground connection right there. So what we're going to attempt to do is resolder those two. And let me show you the wire I'm going to use. So what I did is I stripped a wire kind of on the long side. And what I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to tin that first, put some solder on that wire, uh, attach it to either the wire first or the ground. But we're going to use that as a jumper between the two because it's not quite. The problem is that wire is too short to connect to that ground without it's really I guess it was a real tight fit and just eventually let go so let's try that we're going to solder that and come back and see if that fixed it okay you might pick up my fan here I've got this exhaust fan just to kind of pick up the fumes from the solder and I think I'll get some of that solder off first I guess I could leave that wire of solder on there couldn't I Ooh, that worked. So I got a little bit of that old wire off there, which is a good thing. The so first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to try to get this wire cleaned up a little bit. A little solder on this. Let's go ahead and tune that up a little bit. Oop, yeah, I just lost my wire. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a different approach. We're gonna wire it to the. <laughs> you know, that's a good point. I don't. Oh, I don't know if I can do this or not. It's like I gotta wire two things at the same time. This is an interesting problem. Okay. Maybe, maybe. All right, so my thought here was, so I got that wired on, soldered on, I'm gonna snip that long wire. And got a little extra solder in there I wanna snip off. All right, now what we're gonna do, whoop. All right, so right now I just wanna see if it's gonna work or not. So we'll put the batteries in. Okay, now. Oop. Okay, looks like we fixed it. All right, let's put our screws back. These are strange. If you ever get one, they have like a flathead screw. It looks like a Phillips head when you first see them for the battery case. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because when you try to get those out, you first think it's a Phillips. And you can see right there, it's got kind of a Phillips look to it. But actually, it's going to be a, a flathead screwdriver because it's got one larger slot in there for the battery compartment. 
You can see like you spend more time trying to figure out what screwdriver to use than you do actually changing the batteries when you did this. So that was just one learning I had. These up here are just those really little, little bitty uh, Phillips heads. So that's kind of more normal than you would that you would expect. Okay, so they're all back together. Put them on my finger. So I think we have success. I think he goes to sleep here or something. <laughs> I guess you kiss him. <laughs> okay, well I got him going, so he'll go back to his to the grandkids dad's house and let them enjoy it for another few months before it breaks again. Thank you.